Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Dicey Dungeons. I got some exciting news. I got a new gamer keyboard. I feel like that might be the difference maker when it comes to uh, winning a game of Dicey Dungeons. If it's good enough for Shroud, Ruka, it's good enough for me. Wouldn't you say, you want to come up? You want, oh, he's like, I want to come up. You want to come up? Ruka. You want to come up? Do you want to come up? Oh, he he made a little move. Does he want to go all the way? Oh, my boy. My boy. Look at this. Oh, he grip. He grips. Also, um, after much personal soul searching and deliberation, I figured I'm going to move over to the testing branch. So this is episode four um, with... The changes that are supposed to make it easier as the witch. Because I felt like it's probably more entertaining for me and for the audience to feel like we have high morale and a chance at victory as opposed to uh, the alternative, which is me just uh, losing in all likelihood over and over. And, and for what? If I win, I get the credit of being like, oh, I'm the smart guy who won. Incredible. Nah. Let's just... <laughs> Let's trust the designer. Hey, Ruka, don't you do it. Okay, so we've, we've learned a lot playing as the witch, to be honest. We've learned a lot from our recent performances. What have we learned? Raw damage is important. Infliction early, usually pivot that to like a magic missile or something later. I welcome the backseating for the record. My son, you gotta, you gotta make a decision. Are you okay? On the lap, if you're not okay on the lap, are you okay in the box? If you're not okay in the box, you gotta be okay on the floor. Okay? It's up to you. Look, Tomo's in his box. <laughs> Tomo's hitting them with a, like a little side eye right now. Like a... Anyway. We want raw damage sources as soon as possible. This guy is so unlikely to kill us. He has to roll so insanely well. Um that I think you just don't use your limit break. Um, and I think that's that's kind of obvious as well. Like, he will hit us for 10, but then we'll get back to full HP. So but if you want a full list of the rule changes, you can check uh, Terry Kavanaugh's Twitter account. Um, but I, I don't think it's that relevant. Let's just see how it plays out. Why punish myself? For no reason. So I have to be honest, I like Dice Shard. But uh, why, why not take Weaken here? We, I don't think we've ever had Weaken as an option before. And we just put that at a position in the spell book that allows it to uh, have its range be a little bit more acceptable. I actually like the idea of Weaken coming out there um, early. So who do we... We have to choose Baby Squid last or Stereo Head last. I think I would probably rather fight... Like, who's more dangerous? I think Stereo Head's more dangerous, so let's fight him and then get to full HP. But this this is a pretty good setup for us here. So step one, you just roll, um, and we have to figure out where we stand here. Fives are pretty good. We could get double weakness, but we also do, I think step one, let's just distill it. You do want magic missiles out there. You would put a three. I think you create another magic missile first. Then you go three... Two, six, and you could. We're only gonna have three dice next turn, but you might as well create a sonic wave. If you get odds, at least you can put them into sonic wave, so we have good coverage. Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you going, cat? This cat is crazy. He's a he's a crazy individual. He wants to go. He spends all day wanting to be there. As soon as I put him there, he wants to go. Make up your mind. Uh, I think we're gonna hit limit break here. So I think we might as well, uh, and we were hoping for some low rolls there, but this is also an even. Um, so maybe we'd, ah, but how are we going to, I think you do it like this. I think you hit, um, go there, get a cauldron out here on one of these fives, and a three here works just fine. Um, but I think you'll cauldron real quick on the five first, that we were hoping for an even. That's not going to happen, so there will be one more turn here. Uh, honestly, I don't want to say that was bad luck, because I think that that's... 
not necessarily fair. Um, but I think that we, we did, we rolled worse than I would have wanted to roll. Let me put it that way. <laughs> um, it is unfortunate, but let's go to full HP here. As of right now, I think we got a pretty okay setup. I think we just, the enemy rolled well. We kind of rolled the, the dice we don't want to roll for the most part. So a four fits easily in here. I think this is a very simple one. Then you go Magic Missile 3-2. It, it would be nice to have Cauldron out here. Let me give it to you straight. It would be nice to have Nudge out here. So that we could always turn an odd into an even to use with Magic Missile. That might fit into our prepared slot. This does, Sonic Wave doesn't do damage here. So we kind of want to rethink this situation, I think. I don't think we want to spend two dice to get Nudge out there. But it is something to think about. Um, so I think we definitely want like a real Sonic Wave out there. I think we'll go with a three on that one. Then we can use a six here. It's not a necessarily a great move, but I think we'll get a second weakness and then we'll throw our other six there. Two, one, no damage taken, just weakness. It's a very positive situation. Weakness is a very interesting status effect. It doesn't always work well for us. Um, but, but when it does, we're, we're very happy about it. This is just, I mean, I don't need to tell you, I'm sure. This is a pretty awful roll for us. So we're going to cauldron our five, because a five is basically worth nothing for us. And luckily, the cauldron got us there. So I think our next level, I think we do take prepared. And um, it's, it's a tough choice. I don't know if this is primed for the redemption of nudge. <laughs> I don't want to split evens. Um, healing crystal is kind of interesting, but I think, um, we either want cauldron or nudge. And I think it should be cauldron. Cauldron, well, it, there's, there's pluses and minuses, right? The thing with cauldron is ones are not that valuable for us, so it's easy to cast. Um, and it also does one damage. The downside is that it doesn't give us a guaranteed, um, Odd or even, you know, it just gives us a 50% chance of each. Nudge, on the other hand, is expensive to cast because we would normally rather use our sixes, probably in Magic Missile, even though it, it's diminishing returns at high value. Um, you know, why not give it a chance? Realistically, this is us giving Nudge a chance to prove us wrong all these videos. And, and maybe, just maybe, it actually has more going for it than I've ever anticipated before in my life. Already, Nudge, uh, it allowed us to hit the max value. Okay, <laughs> that's that's completely fine. It allowed us to hit max value on Sonic Wave, which is really nice. And let's just go for it again. Um, I think we'd love to weaken you twice, and then it doesn't really matter what this is. We'll just handle it like so. This guy gets bodied extremely hard by weakness. So just being able to cast it two times is is very, very good. I will say, I'm, I might have thrown the baby out with the bathwater a few times with Nudge. Not using it is one thing. Not taking it is, uh, is pretty egregious. That's the kind of thing where people are like, I agree with you, it's garbage. But not picking it up, that's just a, a show of bravado that is unnecessary. Uh, so, again, so kind of the same thing with Hall of Mirrors. I don't think Hall of Mirrors is actually um, something I'm going to use, but there's always a chance. We'll save our money and hopefully get uh, some more meaningful equipment later. But I don't know what that equipment is. We want to fight Keymaster last, I think, because he's the worst. But we'll see. As of right now, this is actually going real well, in my opinion. Six became two. Um, I still think weakening you is of the utmost importance. Uh, I think we'll actually just nudge out a cauldron. The thing about cauldron is it does take up a slot, but it doesn't actually take up a dice because it gives you one in return. So a four works really well here. Then I think you uh, you probably yeet the one. You've got two cauldrons out there already. Yeet the one again. At this point, um, you would just make another one of these. We're, we're trying to get a, a better damage spell out there for sure. And certainly I think that magic missile instead of one of these cauldrons is, is totally fine. 336 is going to be it's going to be a bad turn for us just being honest. 
But um, it will allow us to hit our limit break. And we should probably go for it. So what do you like on this one? Well, I think straight off the bat, your six is kind of like not that valuable as a card. Or as a, uh, as a roll, as weird as that sounds. Now your five is good to get more weakness, but it's also good to get a four for maximum damage there. I think you double up and go, you know, three, two on this one to do that much more damage. And we're not going to kill you that much is clear. But we will take you close to death. And if you roll low, um, that's low enough. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think you're uh, I don't think you're gonna transform into a bear. So I think that we're we're in a decent spot on that. Okay, we did lose a lot of HP. Do we have we do have health? Thank God. I think catastrophe is really bad. I just I I just do not think it's very good. It is cheaper though. It, it, it used to be ten, right? So I think we're doing okay here. By the way, I did hear, um, and by hear, I mean I saw it on um, Terry Cavanaugh, the, you know, the designer. And I mean, I hesitate to use the term developer because you never know. You know, it's always a team-based effort. I don't want to, you know, diminish the uh, accomplishments of the whole. Okay, it, it, that didn't do too much here. Um, but still, you know, I, I saw that uh, Dicey Dungeons... Won an award at Indicate. Congratulations. People are perhaps falsely under the impression I don't like Dicey Dungeons. Sometimes it's not the case. Um, I do like Dicey Dungeons. I think we would like to weaken three. In fact, I think Dicey Dungeons is uh, very, very good. Just a couple of episodes that have seeped into my psyche and... Uh, Caused me substantial uh, psychological trauma. But apart from that, I'm a big fan. Um, so I think the award, well-deserved. Now, thank you. That's so good. I am curious. Because, um, like, you don't seem upgraded. So to me, I'm like, am I even on episode four? <laughs> I hope I am. Um, we will take Duplicate. And again, like Hall of Mirrors, we're just not using it right now. But you know, I suppose we're never going to use Infliction either. Um, so we'd probably rather... That is interesting. I don't think we want it, but it is interesting. Um, but yeah, having, having a, uh, a Duplicate out there... I still think if we get a third prepared slot, we might like the Duplicate. I gotta be honest with you though. Ah, uh, we should have duplicated the five first. Either way, this is still pretty good, but I gotta be honest with you, Nudge is doing way more than I uh, had ever anticipated. At least not all of my dice will be frozen. I'm only gonna take 11 damage and have two of my first three frozen. Um, so I do, it in this case, I, oh, it's, it's a little spice, but I think you do duplicate the five, turn your five into a four, weaken, then you start Cauldron meta. What do we want? We want evens. Um, and a three is maybe the least valuable for us right now. So you do that. Cauldron, whoops, cauldron again. I think you're going to cauldron the one in this case and see what you get. You could dupe the five, but I don't think that's that meaningful. I think we're actually better off, um, and we're going to keep it pretty, you know, we, we're in a good spot here. I'd like to weaken both just to minimize you. Minimize your ability to hurt us. That's amazing. You will still freeze all of my dice, but we, that's, we didn't paint over the cauldron so we got a good uh, opportunity there regardless so we got a six um i think you cauldron your ones first and see where you stand after that you got two sixes it's unfortunate actually because we don't really gain anything out of a six a five would have been way more important but there are doubles again so we're going to take nine damage and have all of our dice frozen um this guy i mean he's a pain in the butt let's be honest it is what it is they are who we thought they were, and they uh, we let them off the hook. So you are dead no matter what. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we need HP, though, and there is none. So this would be a very meaningful time to get... Uh, well, more than that, ideally, but it is what it is. Crystallina, Sorceress, Rhinoceros, Beetle. We have to get the HP. So we'll start with Crystallina. I'm hoping, uh, hoping, I'm hoping that our weaknesses here are gonna be, uh, 
are going to be valuable for us. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, how do you get, how do you get value out of this? You could, you could get real spiced. I actually think we do get real spiced. I think the line is four for Hall of Mirrors, six for an extra dice, and then you get a nudge out of this. Apart from that, we could have gotten a second Sonic Wave out there, but I, you know, we had a roll that was kind of uniquely bad. Let me rephrase. It's bad in the short term. It might be great in the long term. So what we're looking for here, you'll love to see a natural four. Uh, I think you do want a cauldron. Let's start with another Sonic Wave. We know we're going to want that out there. I don't think we need to go one more dice on Hall of Mirrors just yet. But you know what? It's our limit break. Why not? So I think now we can safely yeet Hall of Mirrors from existence. We got a 3, we turn it into a 5. That 5 will become a 4. That's 2 weakness. Um, and then I think from here, I think we're okay to just throw both burn dice. Or one burn dice and then the other dice was just natty, but... Okay. Now here, we love the natural fours. That's kind of a gimme. Um, honestly, I do, I appreciate nudge here. There's a certain level of uh, me right now that goes, I don't think we need to have more nudges involved. So I do think... Probably dump that cauldron right now. It's a little spiced, I'll admit. We have five dice, so I'm going to be a little spicy. and I'm going to go for the kill next time. We're hoping to get some low rolls so we can actually take advantage of it. Okay, that's unfortunate that, that they actually got what they needed for that. But the weakness is still doing, is doing great work for us. So we might as well hit our limit break. Um, whether or not we want to use it remains to be seen. cha da da Let's roll. Um, so we got fours. Fours are good. We got twos. Twos are good. You could you could slot a three in there. No question about that. You could put a two in there. But then you got a bunch of fives. What are you going to do with a bunch of fives? I mean, not too much, I'll admit. Four weakness. It should keep us alive. Those are not the rolls you want to see, though. Okay, you can't use your burned dice, but everything else is A-OK. -okay. I mean, that was obviously horrible. Um, but we are going to heal for 21 immediately after. <laughs> Although I think we have to fight Rhino Beetle. Um, and then we can decide how HP looks after this, after this moment, I think. It's not a great start, but I, I am hoping that weakness is enough to, to slow him down. I mean, two weakness per turn is really going to minimize this guy's hurt and power. I like that a lot. So, uh, unfortunately, I think in this case, I, we need the weakness. But I also want that you need the weakness. The weakness has to come out there. So, I think you just accept that, you know, this kind of sucks. But it's going to happen from time to time. A two is a bad roll. And, oh, he, because we didn't get double weakness, we got real problems here. But... It's so, okay. Just stay fresh here. You got nothing to worry about. Um, well, you got like a little to worry about, but hopefully not that much. <laughs> okay, you don't need to hit weakness again. So you can make a you can make a different decision if you like. Like for example, you can nudge, and then actually this I I've made a mistake on this. We will eat the sonic wave, but we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have. Six is not that valuable. Okay, you could dupe the six, but that won't be necessary. So with the weakness, I think we got a chance here. I think we got a shot. If all you can do is lock a dice, that's not that bad. All we need is two rolls that are low enough for us to get where we need to go. That is low enough. So, you know, again, two weakness makes it so the maximum damage this guy can do per turn is four. And, you know, it, many turns he will do nothing. Hopefully. <laughs> um... It's a bit of a... It's a war of attrition... Honestly, you kind of hate to see him roll ones, but it's okay. He, he literally cannot kill us unless we uh, are unable to weaken him. 
So, like, even though it's low damage, and we're only doing four damage, okay, now he could kill us next turn. And that's a, a beautiful roll for him. In fact, if he rolls a two, he will kill us. Don't do it. Don't do it, dude. It's not worth it. Like... In fact, we didn't. We need the weakness on the right thing. Mm, okay, it worked. It worked. We're still alive. <laughs> um, well, there is no world, of course, in which I could actually fight the sorceress. Um, we just have to leave. I don't know if there uh, if there's a realistic chance we can make this one happen but we we owe it to ourselves to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks right well i don't know with 11 hp do you want to fight the sorceress if we don't fight the sorceress we may win i don't see us living against the sorceress let me <laughs> this is how you know i'm i'm really out here trying to win Take me to Terry Kavanaugh's Twitter account so I can read the patch notes for the testing branch, okay? Reduced countdown, increased damage on magic missile plus. Uh, high note plus inflicts weaken to do an extra damage. I don't, I don't know, Terry. I don't know. I find it hard to believe we could not take 11 damage here. So I think I'm just going to take my chances on the next floor and... Uh, I was hoping we'd have HP around us. Hey, we'll still level up if we can kill the Wisp. You know, like in my heart of hearts, I'm like, we need to weaken this son of a gun. Fully and completely. Oh, you hate to see it. Max 3? <laughs> okay. What the heck is Vanish again? I don't remember. Duplicated dice are immediately destroyed. Here's the thing. I gotta get this crystal ball. If we're How dare you, sir? How dare you? In my time of need, you come to me with that garbage? We're done. It's just, it's it's inconceivable. I, I'm just here to tell you we would have died against the sword. We would have died against the sorceress anyway, okay? It's just science. Um, we're going to try again, though. This Honestly, it, it felt a little better, even though we didn't get as far as we've gotten on some of our witch runs. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. I got a smile on my face. We're making progress. I'm a happy man. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!